it galvanised Irish America and um, the support of Congressman Richie Neal and the Ways and Means Committee uh, is enormous because it did send a message to the UK that Irish America and its powerful position in that committee, which will decide on the future trade arrangements between the US and the UK, um, will not be supporting any trade arrangement because, as was made out to us when we met with uh, Congressman Neal and the other Irish American congressmen, is well, we want to know where the border is between the UK and between Ireland and the EU and how that border functions and we want Britain to sign up to the backstop that they negotiated, which people seem to forget. Um, and they're very concerned about the Good Friday Agreement and the Peace Agreement and I know we are having the discussion on the border poll and the issue around that. And like the, the issue of unification is not just a name or an aspiration as Attorney General Brady the former Attorney General said, like, it's a constitutional imperative, it's an obligation to achieve, not simply an aspiration to have. And that policy neglect that we're currently suffering needs to be resolved. And I agree with Fergus O'Dowd about the roadmap, but one of the concerns of the roadmap was that court case last year, um, why High Court Justice Garvin made a ruling that the Secretary of State, although it would be prudent for her to have a policy in relation to how a referendum would be called or how she would determine that the majority of people were in favour, he could not legally require her to do so. And I think that's where we do need the clarification, but that is not for the next 36 days. But the unionist concerns and that conversation around a new agreed Ireland, a vision that we can all share, that we want the best future for everybody on this island, is probably not for the next 36 days. But I do want to bring your attention to a, a report compiled, which I assisted in, but only partly by two experts on preventing violent extremism, Professor Pat Dolan and Professor Brennan, who are uh, chairs in UNESCO. And their view, and this is about having facts, their view is that if there is a return to a hard border in Ireland, there will be a return to violence. The, the issue is the scale of the violence. And I think it's important for the UK government to listen to that, because they need to know, when they were having their debate on Brexit and their referendum, they didn't have the facts. And if they're deciding to do a U-turn on the backstop, they need to have the facts that there are not just economic consequences for this island, but there are consequences that we do not want to go back to. It was the reason for the Good Friday Agreement. It was the reason for the backstop. It's the reason that we don't want to U-turn on the backstop. And like, we do need to do that. And I'd like to thank the Chair for allowing me in and for the Minister for attending the meeting. Thanks, Mark.